An empty pedestal stands before you. From the ostentatious nature of the carvings upon it, you can tell it once used to hold something of great value. Something valuable. The ghost stares right through you, a horrified look upon her face. They took the realm. They took it all. But they don't know what it is. They don't know what they have. Hope flashes in her eyes as she tries to focus upon you. Those black ring dogs. They took the universe, but they don't know what it is. I pray they do not think to try to use it. She turns away. Nothing to see here. Mm, please move along. I know it's doom. What's this? I found something. Embedded in the stone stands an ancient and venerable sword, as sharp and as strong as the day it was made. It feels good, cool to the touch, and a perfect fit for your hand. The sword does not budge. The sword slides smoothly free, but the silence of the cave is broken by the clank and whir of machinery. Uh-oh.
A hulking black ring captain glares at you with his one eye. The other one, a weeping socket surrounded by recent burn wounds. You're not one of mine. You're not from headquarters either. Explain yourself, or I'll open you up and rip out an answer myself. Ah, Captain, please let this one pass. She's a loyal disciple of the God King. A clandestine agent working against our enemies. I can vouch for her. Your mystery advocate gives you a pointed look. It suddenly comes back to you. An execution of Black Ring prisoners halted at the Black Pits and a grateful life spared. That same prisoner speaks on your behalf now. She saved my life, in fact. Mm. All right. Pass freely and don't interfere with a conjurer.
A saltwater crocodile looks around, seemingly disoriented. It utters an uneven growl. A saltwater crocodile... Where the water go? Why does my head hurt so much? The shore, yes. After a rest. The crocodile slumps down and closes its eyes. <sighs> the crocodile remains... My head... Careful now. That's a trap. Look out. I see a trap nearby. The grim drip, drip, drip of flood water and the bloated body at your feet make this place feel more like a defiled tomb than a temple. Nevertheless, you approach the altar. Your vision clouds and you open your eyes to a dark glade. Before you lies a bull trapped beneath a fallen tree. It stares at you with malevolent eyes. As you watch, it transforms to a bear, claws digging into the earth as it struggles to dislodge the log. You blink. And it turns again. A gorilla now. It's vaulted back, pushing hard against the wood. After a few more minutes' struggle, it slumps to the ground, defeated. And its contemptuous eyes return to you. Strength, it barks gutturally. Give me your vigor. You feel your god slip out of your body and skitter across the ground to Vrogir. As you watch, ants start to pour out of the tree's trunk, scurrying towards the ape. As the insects flow over the gorilla, it starts to thrash in panic. It screams in pain as the ants start to bite every piece of exposed flesh. Blood starts to match his fur, and Vrogir glows with an inner light. He grows brighter and brighter until his body bursts into bright yellow flames, burning the ants away. The blinding force of the flames pushes you back, driving you away from the glade, away from the vision, and away from the altar. An ancient-looking lever stands before you. It's still damp from the recently receded floodwaters. There's a small slot in the side of the lever, almost like a keyhole. The lever doesn't budge, not even a fraction of an inch.
An ancient looking lever stands before you. The lever doesn't bump. There's a small slot. A deep rumble heralds the wall beyond sliding downwards. A hidden door. Careful now. That's a trap. 